How's it going, my dreamers? This is Born to Dream, back with episode number 32 of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Let's Play. Be sure to leave a like down below if you're enjoying the video. Subscribe for some more Pokemon Ultra Moon content. And be sure to check out the playlist in the description down below if you like seeing previous episodes of the Pokemon Ultra Moon uh, Let's Play. <laughs> Took me a while. So, today we are actually going to be taking on Lusamine. Last episode we took on uh, Guzma and we took on the Ultra Recon Squad. Uh, this episode we will be taking on Lusamine and we will be figuring out what it is she's actually planning to do. Because I don't believe she's just trying to protect the world from Necrozma. That's a load of bull. Um, maybe yeah, I'm here so that way Cosmo doesn't die. But I think there's more to the story than what we've been presented so far so let's go ahead and dive into this so we'll go ahead and uh jump up here i'm actually good on health right i'm fine yeah let's do this uh she's gonna leave with fable though so let me go ahead and stick sand slash in the front and we'll jump in let's do this there i go all right so let's see what? What is this place? If you want to see, you better hurry this way. She seems pretty intense. Yeah, she is. Yeah, I, I don't like this room at all. What do you think? It's my private collection. My precious babies. They will all be preserved for eternity here. I don't understand. I don't understand the point of having all these frozen Pokemon. There's a Pikachu. There's a Pikachu everywhere, even in this place. You can't escape Pikachu. But I I, I don't understand the point of all the frozen Pokemon other than oh she's a lunatic. But why why is she trying to preserve Pokemon? I don't understand that. But if the light is stolen from this world then I won't be able to love my babies any longer. So I'll open the Ultra Wormhole and take on the Pokemon that would steal our light. I will caption even I will capture even poor Necrozma. Hmm. Okay. Whoa, Dreamer! I don't think we want her to do that. Whoa-ho! And Lily! Man, I'm glad- I'm so glad to see you're okay. Ah, oh, sweet Hal. So you came too. I know better than to expect much from the members of the Ultra Recon Squad, but really, couldn't Guzma even stop a few children? Listen to us, please. Don't open the Ultra Wormhole. We can't lose anyone else. Not like we lost Father. Do you think I've forgotten? As if I could forget what happened that day? That day... I hate the Ultra Wormhole from the depths of my being. But that is why I will be the one to go. I will not let anyone stop me. Not even my own daughter and son. What? Daughter and son? Wait! You're all a family? She doesn't look too happy about that. Perhaps once we were, sweet Hal. But those wretches beside you left me. But I will sit, still save them. With all the endless love of the president of the Aphir Foundation, as someone tasked with the protection of all Pokemon. She's very high and mighty about this. Very high and mighty. I was able to open the Ultra Wormhole using just the gases we extracted from Cosmog when it was in Aphir Paradise, wasn't I? And now I have Cosmog itself inside this crate here. If I use its entire body, I should be able, able to control the Ultra Wormhole. Please, stop! If Nebby isn't... If you make it use too much of its power, you don't understand what will happen. Like, when we ran away from the Paradise, it couldn't even move for ages after that. If you use too much of its power, it will die. I, I am loosening. That's all she has to say.
So she's. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be no Lego. It didn't open. Oh. You are trying to resist, aren't you, Cosmo? But why? For Lily's sake, perhaps? How gallant you are. You love Lily, don't you? <laughs> perhaps Gladian and Lillian have both grown up a bit since leaving Aeth here. But I still won't allow them to interfere with this. If I'm going to protect the Pokemon of Alola, I must go through the Ultra Wormhole and meet this Necrozma. I will have Cosmog open the Ultra Wormhole, no matter what. I will use the power of its cage to ensure that it cannot resist any further. There you are. Mother, if you disappear too... Now you worry for me? Fine, Gladian. I'll do what I must to put your worries to rest by demonstrating my strength in battle. Let's see. Yes, you dreamer, you will battle me. If I could defeat even you, then that should silence Lily's last objection as well. I was wondering how that was all going to turn into a battle. Okay. Okay. I I I I will go with that. You are challenged by 8th year president Lusamine. And she sends out Clefable. Okay. We're ready for this thing this time. Alright, we're going to go for the Stealth Rocks because she has 5 Pokemon, so that works out great. I don't know if she has any Pokemon that are weak to Stealth Rocks, but it helps. It definitely helps in this fight. She's going for Charm. Uh, I'm going to go for Sword Stance. But I think she's going to start Cosmic Powering. But we'll go for it anyways. You can't charm me forever. Yeah, there we go. Got something different. Alright, I'm going to try to go to plus two. See if it uh, charms me. Goes for Moonblast. Okay. I did a decent amount, but I could still take it out with Iron Head. There we go. So Clefable got taken care of. Good. Low Pony. Did she have a Low Pony before? I don't remember her team at all. She could. She might have, and it just slipped my mind. But I don't actually remember. I'm gonna go into uh, Big Bear, and I think I. I mean, this Low Pony will go for a Fighting type move, but it's not Stab. And Beware has a little bit of bulk, so I think it could handle this. What if she had, I was going to say, what if she had a Mega Low Pony? That'd be crazy, right? That'd be insane. Alright, she, she cute charmed me, but it's dead, so. Come on. <laughs> Alright, so what's your next one? Beware. Okay, that's, I was expecting you to use that. Let's go into... We're going to go into Raichu. We're going to Raichu. We'll go for the Psychic. I think Psychic should do enough. But, again, Beware is bulky. And this thing probably has the uh, Fluff ability. Which I think lowers super effective moves. I hope I'm not wrong in saying that. but Yeah, I'm pretty sure this had... Uh... You don't have any Dark-type moves? That's weird. Okay. I'm not complaining. That's awesome, actually. Alright. Very nice. Okay, so. Lilligan. Okay. I sort of remember Lilligan. Uh, we're going to go into Talon Flame. And yeah, we'll go for the fly. 
Although she's gonna start going up for she's gonna start going for quiver dancers. I don't know if I'm worried about quiver dance because it's a grass type and I don't think Logan really gets that great of a coverage move pull. I went for Stun Spore, okay. So and I'm hitting it on the physical side too, so it's not that big of a deal. But uh Let's go for the uh flame charge. Teeter dance. Oh, come on. Please tell me I have a full heal. I have no idea if I have one. I probably won't break through. Nope. I hope I have a full heal. Do I have one? Doesn't it? Wait. I'm in the wrong bag. There we go. I have a full heal. Good. One full heal is all I need. And it goes for teeter dance again. You know what? That's fine. I think we can break through this. That's fine. I I, I believe in you, Talent Flame. You can break through this. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Yes! Thank you. Awesome. Alright. So what's your last one? Oh yeah, my Lodic. Okay. Uh, looks like we're gonna go for the Z move here. The Z power move here. My Lodic is very bulky. Very specially bulky. So it could survive this. Well, then again, it just took Stealth Rock's damage. So that might help me. That might help me. But we're gonna go for the uh, Gigavolt Havoc. And that should... Maybe take it out. Maybe take it out. We'll see. Good. Great. Awesome. We beat her. I'm very happy I grinded these guys at 47. This is going so smoothly. You defeated President. Eighth year President Lusamine. How? How could you be so awful? That's a lot of money, holy shit. I got 11k from her. <laughs> oh, Dreamer, you are strong. You should carry on with your island challenge. Perhaps I've made you feel uneasy about my ability to handle this task. I'll be fine. I won't be alone. Guzma, with me. Yes, ma'am. I'm off to capture Necrozma. Wait, let me go. My partner Noel was born to be a beast killer. I've trained it all this time to be able to battle on the other side of, the ultra, of that ultra wormhole. You are a sweet boy. But do not worry. You can leave it all in my hands. Children really would all be much happier if they'd only listen to the adults around them. She literally... That's so... Whatever. Gladiant literally has the Pokemon that's able to... She's just gonna fall right in. <laughs> Kuzma just pushes everyone out. He's like, get the fuck out of my way. Yo, why didn't Gladiant just follow them? If he wants to go so badly, why is not he just jump in with them? He runs after it's gone. Come on, dude. Mother, why? Nebby, are you alright? Nebby. What is it? It's Cosmoium. Very nice. It changed forms, and it's not moving. Hmm. Come on. Let's get out of here. Nothing good can happen here. Hmm. So, she's in an ultra wormhole now. I don't know. I, 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 I don't believe that she's just there for Necrozma. Just based off of what happened in Sun and Moon. That just seems a bit ridiculous to me. You are all unharmed. 
Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, maybe. But there's still a ton we have to do. There's the President and Guzma, who both disappeared into the Ultra Wormhole. Not to mention Cosmog and why it stopped moving like that. Even if she is, like that, Musumi is still our mother. We can't just leave her in some unknown world on our own, even if it is to capture Necrozma. And if she doesn't come back... The words we just heard, is that the truth? Lucy, what kind of human is she? She acted so kind and caring, and yet beneath the surface she thought of none but herself. Was this all for her own selfish satisfaction, or does she simply feel too much responsibility to take everything upon herself to fix? What is she thinking? What an incomprehensible individual. Though that is as much as we had heard. In truth, we are not strong. We have not needed to be. We use technology to resolve any problem that arises in our lives. That is why we had discussed finding some human we could send through to our world to battle with Pokemon on our behalf. What was that you just said? You said you were going to send someone back to your world? Do you know some other way to open an Ultra Wormhole? The Ultra on Pawnee. The Pokemon that appears there is known as the beast that calls the moon. We borrowed such a brute's power or ourselves to come here to Alola. But to think that those two hope to capture Necrozma on their own? Do the people of this world truly have so much confidence in their strength in Pokemon battle? If Necrozma awakens, it will hunger for light, and it will descend upon Alola to take it. Our world, Ultra Megalopolis, is a world without any light left in it, after all. We know that the darkness that once fell upon Alola was driven back with light. That is what the old legends and myths tell us. But in all our investigations, we still have not learned what the light was exactly. Hmm. So they were going to send somebody back to their world anyways, but Lucimi took it upon herself to do it herself. Miss Lily, if you and your friends would like to get some rest first, I've prepared a few beds in the staff's residential quarters. We'll take you up on that. Yeah, I'm beat. I think I'll stay here. I want to spend some time trying to understand what it is my mother might have been thinking. Yeah, I, I don't know. She was, she was so power hungry in Sun and Moon. I guess you could say that she's very power hungry now, but with a different motive. But I still think she wants to go after all the Ultra Beasts. I think when she starts seeing the Ultra Beasts, she'll start being drawn to those Pokemon. And that will be her new motivation. That, that's my prediction. I just, I don't, I don't believe everything I see on the surface. There's something hidden underneath. Dreamer, Miss Lily is waiting outside. If you're ready for to meet her, let's go. All right, let's head outside. And yeah, there's Lily once again. It feels, it feels so weird seeing that cutscene again. Seeing like cutscenes they took out of Sun and Moon and then put them into this game, it just it feels weird. I picked these clothes up in Mali. Do you think they suit me? I don't know. Nah, no, sure do. Yeah. Let's let's not be a dick. Come on. She has. I don't think she has that high of self-esteem. Oh, Dreamer, thank you. I feel like there's so much I have to do now to save Nebby, to save my mother. I I want to be like you, Dreamer. I want to be strong enough to face any trial. That's why I'm going to try my hardest. This is my Z-powered form. The Z normal Z-move? Nice. So, this is where you were. I found this downstairs. It's the Sun Flute. It's apparently an artifact from Alola's past. They say it's to be played under the sun's light. The sun flute and the moon flute. 
When summoned together, it's said that they can call the legendary Pokemon. That is, if you believe in old myths anyway. It's like the members of the Ultra Recon squad said, right? If the legendary Pokemon really does exist, we might be able to reach that other world, where Necrozma is. Well, they have to, it has to exist, because how did the Ultra Recon squad get here? Sir, they surely did not get here through Necrozma. It was through Lunala. So, yes, they have to exist. Here, take this with you. So I get the Moon Flute? Oh, Master Ball. Yes, thank you. It's a Master Ball. I can catch any Pokemon without fail. I'm counting on you to save my family now. This is the least I can do. But what are you going to do, Gladian? Deal with this mess. I've got to clean up Aetheria Paradise. All I wanted was to be able to protect everybody, together with Null. Maybe I couldn't do that. But I'll make sure that this place at least stays safe. The foundation that our mother loved. Dreamer! Hey, and it's Lily, isn't it? What happened to you? Yes, it's me. Now I'm ready to use my full force, too. You're all amazing. That's it. I've decided. What? I keep getting saved by Dreamer and my partner in Cinderwar, right? If I keep being like this and I don't change, then I'm going to get left behind by you all. I really wanted to save Lily and Cosmog. When my partner and I both felt that way and we were in sync. We were so much stronger. That's how it felt to me. So, I'm going to try to chase that feeling down again, together with Incineroar and my team. So our family drama ended up changing the kind of trainer you want to be. Sorry for getting you dragged into our mess. Sure, you might have been a part of it, but in the end, the only one who's going to make me change is me. And besides, Miss Lusamine is out there trying to keep Alola safe, right? I knew she was a good person. I guess. She's always convinced that what she's doing is right. And she's really kind of selfish, but... But I think she really just wanted to find her father, who disappeared into an ultra wormhole. Okay. That... That I could believe. How? Thank you. Thank you for your kind words, and I'm really happy you feel that way. I can get you to the next island at least. Pawnee Island. I'll wait for you at the docks. Come on, Dreamer. Let's show the world what we can really do. Alright, so we're going to Pawnee Island. Awesome. Great. Oh my, that's quite a change. You mean, how? That's right, he's getting a little bit of that vibe. Kunahala, haza haza. Okay. Let's do this. Come on. Let me do this. Roto Lado. Ooh, I got what? Berries? H oh, HP restores. Okay, that's cool. Um, let's go ahead and uh, move along. By the way, I don't think there's totem stickers here, so I'm not gonna go looking around for totem stickers. If there are totem stickers later, then I'll then I'll admit to being an idiot. But there's not going to be any totem stickers here, because there are no child captains or kahunas here. So, um, I actually need to fly, I think. Where are we flying to? We're trying to... Hold on. How do I... What do I, what do, I do about this? Hold on, I can't use any Pokemon, because we're in 8th year uh, paradise, so... What are we doing, Hal? Okay, that's not really helping. I, th I have to go back to the docks, right? Is that what we're doing? I think we're going back down to the docks. Or we're going to the entrance, at least. Maybe that's it. Okay. So they want me to go here. Either they want me to go out here, which I don't think is the case. No, they probably... No, they want me to go to the docks. I'm overthinking this. They want me to go to the docks. Because then we have to get on the boat and go all the way back so let's go to the docks and now we can go to Pawnee Island okay so we're at the docks the boats over here I know that much let's see you're over here right you're not that's annoying are you over on the other side
He must be on the other side. There you are. Okay, let's go. Ready to go? Yes. Alright. Let's go, Dreamer. No holding back. Okay. So now we're on Pawnee Island. The last island that we need to visit. So let's see. Here we are, Pawnee Island. Sea Folk Village. Okay. I'm saying hello to the lady there. Pawnee Island. Almost no one lives on it. But you'll find a whole lot of nature to explore here. Go find the Kahuna. The Kahuna of Pawnee Island also protects the altar where Alola's people worship the legendary Pokemon. Maybe they will know something that might help you. Gladian, thank you for this. I'm glad that I finally know why you left and that you were trying to help mother and father. But if you just told me that back then, I'm sorry. All I could think about in those days was how Noel and I had to be stronger. But we'll use the strength that we found to the, protect the foundation in mother's place. This will be your battle now. I know you can handle it. He's going back to 8th year paradise, I guess. Dreamer, I'm okay. You don't have to worry. I know what I have to do now. And, I don't know, maybe it sounds strange, but I'm kind of excited. Okay. Yep, I'm getting a new Pokedex. Awesome. Alright, so. What's going on over here? Welcome. Ah, here she is, Minna. Oh my goodness! I'm I'm sorry, who are you? Hmm. I'm Mina. I'm the local captain. So she actually is an official captain, okay. I knew that, but maybe you guys didn't. Captain Minna. It's nice to meet you then. So, let's get right down to things. Which one of you is here for my trial? Oh, no, that's not why we're here. I mean, you're not entirely wrong. You're not entirely wrong. It's true that Dreamer is in the middle of his island challenge, but we're here to meet the Kahuna of this island. The Kahuna? Oh, well, that's a problem. Maybe you should talk to Hapu. Oh, so Hapu lives here on Pawnee Island? Thank you very much, Captain Mina. Let's go, Dreamer. It would be good to see Hapu and Mudsdale again. Alright, so we gotta go find Hapu. But, um, before we go and find Hapu, I'm actually gonna go ahead and end the episode off here. Um, I feel like this is a good stopping point. We'll go ahead and venture through Pawnee Island in the next episode. So, I will see you guys in the next episode. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. In the next episode, we're gonna venture through Pawnee Island. And uh, we might be able to meet up with Hapu. So I will see you guys then. Keep living the dream. Goodbye.